Hello, second graders. This week's essential question is, how can a pet be an important friend? Finding Cal. The genre for this story is fiction. You're going to be thinking about if it's realistic fiction or fantasy fiction, probably, as we're reading. Our essential question, how can a pet be an important friend? Read about a dog who becomes a boy's special friend. So this is like a notebook that has been written on, kind of like a diary. You may be familiar with other books that use this format. And here's the drawings, medium dog, small dog. And the diary is dated September 25th. Dear diary, it took dad a long time to decide. He finally made up his mind. Dad came to my room tonight. He said I could get a dog, but it has to be a small or medium-sized dog. We will go to the animal shelter tomorrow. September 26th. Dear Diary, Wow, there are so many different dogs at the shelter. There are big and little dogs. Some have soft fur and some have wiry hair. Dad and I walked to one dog's cage. The tag said the dog's name was Cal. One quick glance at the cute dog and I knew he was for me. Dad said, look Jake, look at how Cal stares at you. It was true, his eyes were wide open. He was looking right at me. And he did an illustration and we see Jack, Spot, Sam, and Cal. Now, if you're like me, sometimes you look at the pictures and even read the captions or the words in the picture before you read the actual text. So I see this one, Cal licking my hand. Aw, so that gets my brain kind of warmed up a little bit ahead for what's gonna be happening. Now we're reading, starting here. We put Cal on a leash and took him to a fenced yard. Cal smiled and stared at me. Cal wanted to play. In minutes, he learned the proper or correct way to sit. He could walk on a leash nicely, too. I patted him on the head, and he licked my hand. Dad said, I see a real connection between you and Cal. I agreed. We already had a good relationship. Soon we were on our way home. Cal was nervous, so I tried to make him feel better. I scratched his ears, and he liked it. October 10th. Dear Diary, It has been a while since I have written. Cal has learned many new tricks like how to roll over. I have learned from Cal too. Cal's tricks. There he is rolling over. Oh, and he's got, looks like he's begging, doesn't he? Cal walks with dad and me to school every day. Each night, dad reads me a story. Cal lies next to me. I would not trade him for any other dog. I will keep him because our friendship is very special. Finding Cal was worth the wait. So we're going to be making some connection. We're going to be thinking, how is Cal an important friend to Jake? We're going to be looking for exact examples from this story. Compare Jake's pet, Cal, to your pet or a pet you know. Tell how each pet is a good friend. Ooh, you could even start with a compare and contrast map, couldn't you? All right, I hope you enjoyed Finding Cal.